Hi everyone, it's Sonia here. So today I wanted to give you an update on how my mom is doing since you've been asking me. She's doing better from some of the physical issues she'd been having right after that thing happened. But there are definitely some long-term changes. Some things are not getting better. Um, she's, you know, she's deteriorated, basically. She didn't say one word of complaint. That's no. amazing. She just didn't want, she actually liked to do all these things. She did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, did. Mm -hmm. she liked them. She just got very tired in the uh, format, you know. She got so tired. That it wasn't a cat? No, it was not that. It was a really lying, learning, learning, writing, high, 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 and Animal. Um, so I'm going to show you this footage, but I just want to give you a little message first from my partners at my Patriot Supply. No matter what the future brings, there's one smart thing you need to do today if you haven't already done so, which is stockpile emergency food. At any moment, disaster can strike. If you're not prepared, you'll regret it. But with emergency food from my Patriot Supply, your worries are over. Their food lasts for up to 25 years in proper storage, so you'll never go hungry or stand in food lines. My Patriot Supply is America's leader in survival food, and I've arranged for you to save $70 off their popular four-week food kit that gives you 2,000 plus calories a day. Go to preparewithtruthergirls.com and get the emergency food you need before the next emergency. Your four-week starter kit will arrive discreetly at your door in just a few days. Don't wait. Now is the time to prepare for the future. Visit preparewithtruthergirls.com. That's preparewithtruthergirls.com. And if you like my video, please give it a like. Please leave me a comment. And thank you also for your support on Patreon, which helps keep my channel going. My mother has Alzheimer's. She's had it for a few years. I think she was diagnosed in 2017. Her decline, though, has been slow. There's um, a scale of 30 points that they evaluate you on, and she had been losing two points per year. Now, from what I observed, I'm going to show you some footage first of what she was like in December, around Christmas time. Your mother is a real trooper, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real hard worker. It has to be done. I do it now, and never mind. Yep. Yeah. yeah. She's always working hard. She has so many jobs too, right? Mm -hmm. She got everything done? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She didn't say one word of complaint. That's no. amazing. She just didn't want, she actually liked to do all these things. She did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, mm -hmm. she liked them. She just got very tired in the uh, for me to, you know, she got so tired that she could hardly talk. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. She got so tired oh, at the yes. end of the day? Yes, yes. No kidding. Oh, look, there's my baby. That's my baby. Oh, my lovely. Isn't he cute? He isn't he cute? He's a nice little meatball. It's a boy? Yeah, it's a boy. Oh, is His name is Gunner. He's so sweet. And he's he cute. looks friendly. He is friendly. He's friendly and he's funny. And there's Papa. And Papa, how nice. Yeah, he was so happy to see his grandson. Of course. Yeah. There's you, mm -hmm. there's you, mm -hmm. and there's Papa. Oh, Papa mm -hmm. looks wonderful. Doesn't he look handsome? He looks good and he's smiling happily. Yeah. He looks very nice. He does. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Isn't this fantastic? Where, where, where is this going on the on the? Here? Yeah, it's a bracelet. Isn't that lucky? Isn't it? Oh, and I haven't got one. So I know. I've been wearing it all the time. That's what I thought. Oh, is this nice? Oh, I love it. It has all your favorite colors in it. Oh, absolutely. I love this. Oh, you're you are. Isn't so it beautiful? I'm you, so happy I You are too. so good. You are so good with gifts. You always have the most unusual things. Yeah, I always, I always try to get exactly what you really like. And I I really wanted to get you one of those. Yes, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It is. 
I'm so glad. I'm so when glad is your birthday? To you. When is your birthday now? My birthday's in April. Okay, good. Then I have to you get me one too. I have to get so something sweet. nice. Now, from what I have observed, between December, the very end of December, I'm talking Christmas, and right after. Between then and the 8th or so of January, she was the same as she was in December. Um, after that, she had some trouble, which I talked about in my other video. Okay. How do you feel today? Fine. You feeling okay? Yeah, yeah. No? No headache? No. Very nice boots. Boy, that's nice. That's a new a new, a new one. My boots, yeah, they're they're good ones. It's worth it. That's what one needs. I have just while I was in bed, thought about it, and then thought, how, what happened? She had, she had, shoes, and she, they were very quickly gone. I think in a week. After the ninth, she had a big decline, um, mostly in her language ability and in her ability to hold a thought in her head. Ich habe das mit mir gebracht. Das ist ja gut. Ja. Ganz in Blau. Ja, wieder ganz in Blau. Prima Platz, Dings, da passt du dran. Da und, und ich habe meine komischen Sachen hier. Ja. Aber es bin doch ich. Ja, ja, Tag. ich verstehe dich. Ich habe dich doch hier. gesehen. Du, du erkennst mich sofort? Sofort habe ich gesehen, du bist, dass du das bist. Okay. Ich kann den Kindern einen, einen schwarzen Stolz geben, so einen schwarzen. Stock geben, ja. So ein Stock vom Gis, vom, so ein Dreckdock steht auf, weißt du, so ein Schluck. Aber das ist, das war, das war, das, das, soll, das sollten sie bekommen. Do you want to look at the photo album? More ice cream? You want a mouse for? No, I'm good, thanks. Do you want me to take the baby though? Do you, you want me to take the baby? The Kinder, then, then, das here, with them and them kind for spielen. Oh, the thanks, immer an den Kindern. You're always thinking of the kids. No, that's okay. The kids will have their own. You just keep that one for yourself. And I kind of showed you the timeline there. And um, the last clip, it showed that her language had deteriorated. When my legs, or what are they called, these this, this legs, legs uh, yeah. go, go in a warmer place. Right. And never get cold. And then when I come out, have a, have a few moon, moon minutes uh, of warm. Yeah. I do want to say thank you for your prayers because she was having a lot of physical issues at first and um, like she got a lot better after that. After I posted the last video, I went over to see her and she had really like brightened up a lot. Her, her spark was back. Um, she was doing a lot better. Here's a clip of her where she was feeling good and she was also particularly lucid. Although the story that she's telling me didn't actually happen but the way she's explaining it is pretty good and there came I think it was just a fellow a nice looking young fellow and and I think he drank he must have been drinking oh yeah and uh, he he I thought I don't know what where happened but what happened was there he had something with him alcohol or so yeah and then the whole place started be bur burning from there all the way over to that side. he set a fire well it, ca it really became a fire after that there was a lot of improvement in how she was feeling and that's why i want to say thank you for your prayers because she after that started feeling a lot better that day was kind of exceptional on the whole it's been worse and it's been deteriorating since then so now we're the 24th of february okay now i'm going to show you some clips from february i wanted to go with them as you know we could just ask where, I, where just you? here 
one gets out here, mm -hmm. down, and then one is down in a big thing. You want to go outside? And one can get can get there to to to. It's also just a a chat a chat a chat a shut place, you know. But uh, it's nice like this. Her language has deteriorated a lot, and if she tries to tell you anything, she loses the plot, and she can't really follow what you're trying to tell her either. Although there are moments where she's more lucid than others. Viewers have been asking how you're doing. You want to say anything to them? To who? To my viewers. Okay. So what do you think? Do I write? Do I talk now right away? You can, yeah. You can say what you want. Da steht, da steht die, die, Kat, die Karre und da sind Stecker drauf und das ist ein 15er, ein 24er und dann noch ein 200. What have you been up to? I've been... I had a, a maidy, you know, a, 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 a tight one. Uh -huh. And uh, <coughs> this is the... That, this is the, this is the, the thing the, from the one yeah. that was lying there. And then I just kept it. Uh huh. So that's how I got that. Oh, well, that's good. Were you happy about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, of course. As you see, um, the big difference is that she has a lot of trouble talking now. She invents words, she mispronounces words, her sentences are topsy turvy, and also she loses the plot. Um, when she's talking to you, it's it's really hard to tell what she's trying to talk about. And if you if you try to tell her something, when she responds, um, it's it's as if all kinds of things are coming into her mind randomly, and she'll go off in many different directions. And again, it's like I don't know. It's like something is just not connecting up there anymore. Basically, like her dementia has gotten a lot worse in the last month. That that animal suddenly it went <laughs> walked away so fast oh yeah what animal oh like like a big uh, like a big a big thing it looked like a uh, just a lot of, like just, a raccoon or something no no not than that but uh, i said to my friend who, who held it you know i said you must held it somewhere because it runs into a car or something. Oh, okay. And uh, <coughs> she said, "What is it?" And I told her, "Well, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a one that hangs in the in the mannequin in the in our melody uh, shop because it is so used to us that we keep it there." And my father said. That's a good thing to yeah. keep it there because they get scared and they're, when they're there, they're not scared. Oh, maybe it was just a cat. Was it a cat? Did you have a cat in the bakery? No, it wasn't. It wasn't a cat? No, it was not that. It was a really lying, learning, learning, writing, high, high, high animal. Huh. On a, you know, they, they when they go at to the at to the uh, we do, they see better where they have to go. Uh -huh. So they do that, and I said I know where they go. They I see them all the time at the same time going. So and I said to Ula, who was there, I said, well, I hope this one is clever so that she doesn't go there, 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 because they go also spritzig from them. Uh -huh. And then we went, we stand around for a while and looked what she's doing. Yeah. And we were surprised. She went to the new, the new thing that she had. Mm -hmm. A hot one. Yeah. She had a hot one and she went to that one instead of the, to the one that came with this little thing where we have now, which is bigger, because that's throat with all these 
things in it, you know, it's coming bigger and bigger. And I said she has to, that has to be very well prevented or else uh, if anything happens badly bad and goes down in her, in her wreck, then you will have a big operation. Also, oh, it was like she had some kind of a sickness? Yeah, her, her, one, her, one, one of her two things of which one kept out and wanted to go out, snatch, snatch, snatch out. Uh -huh. And then, then she was worried too. The, the, so, but now I think that she, while I was away, lifted her up and, and lifted her a bit and made her a little bit, you know, like this. And then she sat back in her, where she sits at home. I mean, at this point, it's been six weeks, but the decline was really dramatic in those, those like, those weeks right after, you know, the 8th or 9th of February. So as far as I can tell, it's permanent. Of course, dementia is a degenerative disease, so it, it wouldn't be expected to get better, but I thought maybe if something had triggered a, a temporary decline or like a sudden decline, it might be temporary and then maybe she'll go back to baseline. But from what I can tell, she's not going back to baseline. And I'll tell you, like for me, like being with her, it's hard because like I find that her personality has changed a lot. Um, it's like she's really, she's really confused and um, her humor is sort of not there anymore. And that, that was one thing about her that in spite of all this one thing that she had always kept was her humor amazingly in spite of all her memory loss and everything she still had her wit and she could still see the humor in things and she would laugh easily and she would say funny little things right oh my you remember my friend justin yes yeah we've met before yeah long, long ago that's right yeah yeah how yeah. are you doing i'm well and you i'm doing well you look taller and taller <laughs> He's so tall. I like a little taller, but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> she has a lot of charm, you know. She she has always had a lot of charm and charisma and, and humor, and she still had that. And then, as of the last month, it's it doesn't seem to be there anymore. It was like through all of this, in spite of all her problems, I felt like, you know, she was really still there. And now it's like... I see little glimpses of glimpses of her there, but something has really changed a lot in the last month or so. And I guess when you're with her a lot, like I am, like over the years, the decline is very slow. So as it as she declines, you know, I can adjust. But this was such a drop that it was an absolute shock to me. I I I couldn't. I'm sorry, you guys. I I couldn't adjust. It was just so sudden, and I'm there a lot, and I, I really see the change. I know that my conversations with her, just at the end of December, were totally different than they are now. And I don't know what is gonna happen to her when she has more of this, there's nothing I can do about it. I got, I have no say in it. And I have a feeling that it, she's going to get worse. And again, like, I accept that she has dementia. And I've been able to adjust, you know, I know I'm repeating myself, but I've been able to adjust all this time and I've been able to cope with it. But this was so abrupt. Uh, it's been really hard. And I, I'm expecting that it's going to happen again shortly, you know, whenever that happens and um yeah it's gonna be rough i know it is and i'm wondering like how many other people have had this experience too and i'm wondering especially like the people who had mild dementia how many of them have like abruptly gone into moderate i don't know and i wanted to give you this update even though it's kind of painful for me um, so, you know, thanks so much, uh, for being there, you guys, with all your nice comments and your support. I really appreciate it. I hope that this information has been useful to you. Thanks for your prayers for my mom. Please pray for her some more. 
and uh, you know that's it um thanks again for your support on patreon and please check out the link so you can get a discount if you're looking for mres and yeah thanks for joining me in the chat and thanks for listening to me and i'll see you next time